Hello friends and adventurers, and welcome back to Sally Cat Plays Exile 2 Crystal Souls. We're still in Fort Draco, but off camera I went and spent some more money giving my fighters better armor and weapons. Simmerine in trouble anyway, cause all's a beefy slith, she'll be fine. Simmerine's got some iron studded armor, and I went ahead and equipped the broadsword. It's not identified, but it's the one we picked up in the storeroom at Fort Ganrick, so it should be fine. Also, notice that the inventory space has been expanded from 10 or 12 spaces to 16. Neat. Kazol has a breastplate that I might equip later. And Trouble has swapped out his knives for proper bronze short swords. Also gotten a cavewood bow and bronze chainmail. And now, let's see what's under here. Hmm, looks like some dudes. Ooh, the H means hostile. <sighs> Say hello, boys. If they weren't hostile before, they certainly are now. Oh dear. Well, that's our first death of the playthrough. Uh, let me take a moment and reload. Let's try that again. Yeah, this guy's called an assassin, so I don't think we should trust him. Simmerine, we gotta get you better weapon skills. Be more like Kazol. And this time, let's find my wound spell and focus on the assassin a little more. Yeah, assassins are bad news. They can poison you. Hey, fortunately, we've killed more of them, so... They are slightly less damaging to me. Oh, I hoped that would happen. Ooh, Simmerine got a kill in. Nice. Aha! It is dark under here. Let's see, Scorn, give us some light, would you? Okay, fortunately, the archer is in the front, so I'm only getting attacked by one guy at a time. And Simmerine needs more heals. Oh, I do love getting in two attacks per round. Oh no, I've been diseased! Not good. Man, why is Cure Poison a level 2 spell and Cure Disease level 3?
Of course, they're totally right to be targeting my primary mage. Darn it. Ooh, I am running low on spell points. Yikes! May have to retreat here. These guys are just a little bit above my level. Oh, nice! I managed to kill the captain. The leader of the brigands falls and dies. Whoever this band of thugs is, they probably won't be very strong after this. Yikes, yikes, yikes. It might be time for us to run. <laughs> Let's not run just yet, because I don't know if all the loot will disappear. No, not fight. Get. Thank you. Okay. Telamine is still diseased, and that is a problem. And the disease just cursed him. But, okay, I need to get Morwen back up to three spell points so that she can cure Telamine before something really bad like dumbfounding happens. Could maybe stay at the inn. Uh, and he's poisoned. Now he's slowed. Okay, now I can cure. I remember from the previous game that it won't let you rest if you're poisoned. I think that also applies to being diseased. Save here. Round two, fight! There is a leather scrap spiked to the wall. A black sword is painted on it. Mm hmm. You are at the entrance to some sort of meeting room. A crude wooden table runs the length of the room. There is a thick smell of sweat and bad mushroom beer. Lovely. Found that guy. Ooh, Nefar Shaman. Yeesh, this could be tough. And, of course, he blessed himself, so I cannot hit him. I'll soon fix that. Scourge! Let's give you a slow for good measure. And I can still barely hit him. What gives? Here, be poisoned. Yay, poison got him.
Oh, hello, rats. Oh no, vapor rats. Vapor rat used bad breath. Yeah, that, that was the stinking cloud. Not a very good place to stand. Ah, and one can walk through webs and get webbed. It's a rather nice change up from the previous game where webs were solid obstacles. Mother Jerkin and Darts is pretty much worthless to me. Ooh, not worthless. In the dresser, you find several thick sheaves of paper. There are records, notes, and contracts signed with bloody thumbprints. You skim through them, trying to figure out what's going on. You figure out that this is the headquarters of the Black Saber, a band of brigands and malcontents who have been stealing ore and supplies from the surrounding area during the chaos of the war. Happily, they probably won't be doing it much anymore. Because they're dead. Also, we can walk on beds! And a, a similar message to entrance to some sort of meeting room. Ow. Time for some fireball. Soul is level two, yay! And I'm not even going to bother picking up that club. Now, what have we here? You find a ladder. At the top is a trapdoor. Uh, we appear to be in the storeroom of the inn. Hmm. Crisper, do you know about this? In this tiny crawl space in the back wall of the hotel, you find a ladder down. And now we find a rat. You filthy rat. Hello? You hear rats. Oh, is that so? Oh boy. Oh, interesting. Let's put a pin in that and come back there later. Haha. -ha. Corridor seems suspicious. Simmerine, disarm the trap, please. Excellent. And again. And this is why you should always have one, at least one character with points in locks and traps. Because you can find secret tunnels and loot them. Oh, hi there. I had some trouble with this door before, so... Really? Tell me, you're level 2. You should be better than this. Come on. Really? Finally. Oh, this is the storeroom I was already in. 
Why did... Why was I able to unlock that with Simmering on the first try and Telamine took so many spell points? That doesn't seem right. Ugh. There we go. Ooh, armors. Leather jerkins and shields. And some potentially nicer stuff. I have at least vague memories, oh hi, of where all the secret passages are in this game, or at least this area of it. Okay, cool. I was afraid that I was going to have my lead character in one spot and everybody else behind her. Do a light heal all because I want to not die. Uh, no, we're all cursed. Still managed to kill that one. I'm very cursed. This cannot be good. <laughs> I am also very low on spell points. Even worse. I do believe it's time to flee. Ha. Huh. Conveniently wound up on the side of the secret tunnel that I wanted. Okay. Let's go in for, I hope, one last time. Oh sure, you get to not stand in your own stinking cloud. Let's see if we can get more when a kill for once. Yay. Hmm. Anything else in here? It's a pretty small map. Oof, mung rat. That's not good.
I do not like things that can poison me when they hit. I think that's all of them. Okay. So we've got... You find a ladder up. There was an opening in the ceiling, but it's been blocked by a huge block of cement. You wonder what's up there. I bet that is the opening in the floor of the ore depot storage room. I got blocked off for whatever reason. I guess uh, they figured that somebody was about to notice them. But now we have come and cleared out this entire hideout. You follow the passage for several hundred feet and eventually emerge a ways to the east of the fort. You re-enter the tunnel, only to find the passage blocked by a wall that wasn't there before. An odd spell, and effective. Hmm. Well, here's hoping that we, uh, killed the mage or nefar shaman that was responsible for that one. We'll do a bit more exploring in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody.